Hello, this is Geotech LAN, and today I'll be using the Ubuntu Touch operating system. And as you can see, you see a bunch of apps and web apps. Uh, most of them work pretty good, some of them not so good. But there's a lot of things you can use already here that, um, that you may be used to using your Android or iOS phone. One of them, for example, is Twitter. And so you can see here, this Twitter web app works just as good as using the actual Twitter app. So this is my profile here. It runs pretty smooth. And so that's that. For any of you that use one of the more popular apps like Duolingo, this also works pretty good. Again, this just works like the real app. Let's take a lesson. So, yep, works just like the real app. Um, I even have a GameCube emulator here that works pretty darn good. So, those that wanted to play something like Pokemon Yellow version. Let's put some volume on this. There you go. So that works pretty good. Alright, let's take that off. Let's close some of these apps. Now, even Diaspora works pretty good here. For those of you that have used the Diaspora app here, it works like a charm too. Now, if you wanted to use Facebook, tried some of these apps they don't work too good but on the browser they work pretty good I normally use Facebook on the browser anyway I think the main two apps that are missing here that are pretty essential for a lot of us here are snapchat and any um, uh, uber and lyft apps so ride sharing apps uh, I don't think they work too well here but there's a web app for Google Maps that works pretty good and it doesn't get you the the navigation features, but you could, you know, still get directions here. It just doesn't have that fancy navigation where it talks to you and tells you the directions. But Google Map works pretty good. And there is a competing open alternative called UNAV. Where is that app? Which for whatever reason I can't find at the moment. There it is. It is like the alternative to Google Maps, but it doesn't work too well. I mean, it, it does read my location, but um, it's definitely not as robust as Google Maps. Oh, and um, there's a pretty fun game that I've been playing on here that's, uh, it's like a tower defense game, but um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty well-made game. I did not expect a, a good game such as this on such a um, not-so-used uh, OS here. But that works pretty good, you know, you can build your towers here and upgrade. So let's close that out. But yes, I mean, 
and obviously I don't have a SIM card on this so I can't show off the phone and messaging features but if you had a SIM card this is pretty much a complete and fully functional operating system you can um, using the browser you could actually use Instagram as well for those of you that need it but other than that um, there's there's a lot of web apps for certain things like if any of you use Proton Mail, which is something I may come out with later on as well a video, but this works pretty good as a web app. So if your favorite app is not on here, there's probably a web app for it, or there's an, an open source alternative, or in the future. Uh, UB Ports recently announced that they're going to release Anbox on their on the OS. So even some really important Android apps you really want uh, still use, you may be able to use them. But that's something for a later video. Other than that, you guys got a taste of the Ubuntu Touch operating system, and I mean, in a lot of ways, it could replace Android right now depending on your use case. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.